In this illustration, we are going to discuss about variation of a dielectric normal to the plates of capacitor. Here we are given that in a parallel plate capacitor, a dielectric is filled which has a varying dielectric constant in direction perpendicular to the plates, which the value varies as epsilon r is equal to k naught e to power minus m x. Here x is the distance from one plate in normal direction. And we are required to find the capacitance of the capacitor. Here uh, we can take the plate areas A and separation D. If we draw the capacitor, say these are the two plates of the capacitor, where we are required to find the capacitance between the terminals X and Y, and is filled with a dielectric of which uh, the dielectric constant is varying with the distance. So, if we take a distance x from one plate and we consider an elemental section of width dx, here you can see this dx can be considered as a capacitor having plate area equal to the area of plate A and the separation between the plates to be dx. So, here we can write the capacitance of the element is this capacitance DC we can write as epsilon naught epsilon r A by dx, because here dielectric constant can be taken as epsilon r, because for this small distance dx we can consider epsilon r to be a constant. So, if this DC we can see all such DCs are connected in series between the two plates. So, here we can write as all such DCs are in series between plates, we use in the situation here we can use 1 by C x y that is the capacitance across the plates can be written as integration of 1 by DC because if all DCs are in series, we can take it as 1 by DC plus 1 by DC and so on. So, here this can be written as integration of dx by epsilon naught A and epsilon R we can write as k naught e to power minus m x and we integrate the value of x from 0 to d. So, here we are getting this 1 by C x y is equals to we can take this 1 by epsilon naught k naught a as constants. This integration of uh, e to power minus m x this will become plus d x from uh, 0 to d. So, this will be 1 by epsilon naught k naught a and e to power m x integrating this will give us uh, e to power m x by m and we apply limits from 0 to d. So, this 1 by m epsilon naught k naught a and substituting limits this will give us e to power m d minus 1. So, the value of c x y here we are getting is the reciprocal of this which is m epsilon naught k naught a divided by e to power m d minus 1. 1 that is the result of this problem the capacitance across the two pleats of capacitor.